It seems like old times, doesn't it? Chasing a horizon at 100 per, sniffing up the white line on the freeway like a cokehead, lung neck cold against your crotch, clapped and wailing on the deck, Scotty riding shotgun, old times. Turn all slow hand down. Hey, Scotty, how long's it been, man? Six years? Seven? Scotty doesn't say anything, but that's all right. You got enough to talk about for the both of you. Whatever, man. A lot of hair pulled out of the bathtub drain is all I know. <laughs> Scotty doesn't look so good, man. Doesn't smell so good either. He never did treat himself like he was number one on his own hit parade, but shit, you think they'd have done a better job with him. And again, who knows what he looked like when they got hold of him. Him and that Harley? Probably better not to know. Man, that desert out there just keeps on coming. A dip in the road and Scotty slumps to bump his head against the window. His aviator shades go slanted. Straighten him out. Go on, touching him's not as disgusting as it was three hours ago. Fix those shades. God, God damn. Oh, the road's blurring. What are you doing here, son? You're on a secret mission. Spies don't cry. Plenty of time for that later. Three more hours, Scotty. The water poops in the marina. She's ready to burn. I'll get you there, I promise. Did I ever lie to you before? Well, there wasn't that. Did you ever tell him about her? Hell no. Well, now's a chance to come clean. Sip of Watney, some limey courage. Hey, uh, Scotty, man. I screwed a vet. You and her kind of broken up and all, but I uh, still, I don't know how it happened. I mean, I, it was in the air. I just, I don't know how to tell you about it. If I told you about it, you, you wouldn't be my friend anymore, man. Oh, terrific, 007 is great. Now you gotta pull over and get your shit together. Go on, get out of the car, walk it off. It's like boxing, you remember that? Deep breaths. These must be in the triple digits out here. That cut on your hand still bleeding? No, but the bandage really needs to be changed. How the hell are you supposed to know that window glass was lined with wire? Creepy as shit in there and cold as a well digger's ass. Like a meat locker. Well, it kind of was a meat locker, really, wasn't it? Trays, hoses, knives, metal troughs with runoff trays. Sudden shiver in the desert heat. Cat across your grave. I'm going to end up in a place like that. We all will. No wonder Scotty wanted something more. Well, something more. Scotty, the tinted windshield, still as a Buckingham Palace guard. What the holy hell are you doing here, Ace? They used to hang people for this. Oh, forget this, man. Forget old friendships and bullshit promises. It's ancient history now. Besides, what's in it down the road for you when this is over? The thing you can do is just walk away, just head out there, anywhere. Tracks that vanish into breathe. Just leave him here with an engine hot and a beer on his cold lap. Myths and legends of the Death Valley Desert. I tied to the tiller of a shipwrecked car, he were. Jesus, the heat. You sure you're up for this, 007? I promise, goddammit. We swore a sacred vow that day. How'd the rest of that thing go? So, do you got anything better to do? <laughs> Scotty back in the day, closing down the sword and crown on another lawless, laidless Friday night. You gotta promise me, French. I got, I got no family, got no wife, got no relatives. You say you do it, man. Not, not in a box, not in the ground, not in the damn urn. It's a Viking way, buddy. The Viking way or no way at all. Say do it, French. You know I'd do the same thing for you. God damn, he was smooth. Scotty could sell Reeboks to rattlesnakes. 
the 2 a.m. and five screwdrivers makes for a pretty easy promise, doesn't it, asshole? And if you had ignored that phone call last night, if you hadn't uh, coasted into that empty parking lot at 5 freezing a.m. with your headlights off and a blanket in the back seat and a crowbar across your lap, would Scotty ever have known? Maybe not, but you would have. And he would have done the same for you. And there's a bobbing boat and a five-gallon can of gas and a Special Forces Zippo with your name on it waiting in San Pedro for you and your friend. Some friend. And if they catch you, they most certainly will put you somewhere where they have to mail in daylight. And so what? EFD, as they say in Francais. That time, stumbling back to the dorm in the middle of the night. That car in the intersection ran the light, jumped the curb, and headed for, two, for the both of you. Scotty, you remember what he did? <laughs> Bet your ass you remember. Son of a bitch used you as a starting block to push off us so he could get away. <laughs> Apologize for it later, but there it was. Scotty in a nutshell. All right. All right. I was... Uh... Back in the car, it's cool. There's a chemical funk underneath the beer smell. Well, you about ready there, boss? Write them in, cut them out, write them out, write them in. But first, pop the top on another Watney's. Put Scotty's hand around the neck of his own bottle. Good times, bud. I'm down in one long drink. And bon voyage, Scotty. Bon voyage. Thank you.